Hello, uh, welcome to the uh, final chapter of our series of video on uh, building a centrifugal pump from scratch and analyzing using ANSYS tools. So now uh, we have our CFD solution. Uh, we're going to double click on the results. This is going to uh, bring up a tool called CFD post and uh, it's going to load automatically the solution file. As you can see, it kind of gives the outline of our domain, of our 1-8 sector uh, rotating section and the stationary 360 volute around it. I try to show different uh, tri tricks and tips uh, for each of the software, you know, every, every time I shoot a video. Uh, for the CFD post, uh, what I would like to show is uh, generating instances. So. Uh, I'm going to click here and uh, I want to create an instance uh, instancing transformation so that we can view uh, multiple uh, multiples of our uh, 1 8 sector so we can see the 360 so I'm going to uncheck this we're going to have eight instances and it's going to be a full circle so I'm going to hit apply and now uh, you can kind of see this instance transform created right here. So, you know, typically what we may want to look at is a contour of pressures uh, on, on our blade. So if I were to hit apply, it's going to give us a contour on a blade. So that's good, you know, we can take a look at the design is satisfactory or not, get a feel for the pressure field. And if we were to go under view and you see the apply instancing transform, I'm going to select the one I just created. When I hit apply, we're, we're going to see, you know, all, all the blades together. If, you know, for presentation purposes, you may want to prefer doing that. We can maybe then add the shroud to our pressure field. So maybe make a plot like this one. And maybe even, you know, add our volute surface. Hit apply. So then, you know what this would also do is add eight instances of the volute, which kind of looks strange. So what I'll do is I'll uncheck this, go back to our blade. View. Another way uh, to look at the solution is maybe doing some streamlines. So I'll hit OK. I'm going to start the streamlines from the outlet and just, you know, use these. Let's hit apply. So by default, it just does the forward, but, you know, we want to do forward and backward so that the streamlines are kind of going back into the domain. button kind of has a little impact here which I just showed uh, so we can see how the flow moves in into the volute and also we can see it in our 1-8 sector and I didn't want to replicate it because it, it, it will be a uh, ring of uh, you know uh, rotating flow which would make things confusing uh, what I do notice is this uh, recirculation zone near the outlet, uh, which indicates maybe we do have a poor design and we should be working further on our design. And that uh, pretty much uh, concludes our uh, presentation. Thanks for your attention.